Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we have My Hero Academia, Eri Chan. Eri from Boku no Hero Academia. So, let's go. I'm on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and hit pause when I move my hand or if I go too fast, right? So we're gonna start with her eyes. Center point of my page is approximately here. I'd say that's where her nose will be, right? In the center point. So we're gonna go up a little bit and over to the right. And we're gonna start with her big, real, real, really big, like ridiculously big eyes. So real curvy. You're nearly going for like a letter C shape, right? So. this kind of thing. So really big, right? Down to here, right? And so they're, they're really thick as well. So like really big, dark. So we got like a point. So you do a sort of a double line, right? Comes around. It's like a, like a moon shape and in there is like all colored in. So then we got like eyelashes just coming along the bottom here. Like so about four of them, I think. Yeah, four. Like so and maybe like one or two just sticking out here as well. Of course, some of these might go underneath the hair, so don't worry too much about their look. So her eye, real big oval type of eye, right? So we'll put my out and around. Crazy big anime eyes. <laughs> and then a smaller oval for the pupil inside. Like so, and like you could do, so there's two white highlights, but we'll, we'll just do one just up here. Like so. All right, so our other eye, same thing, right? So big over here, right? So you, they're real close together, so the eyes are not proportional at all. It's probably half an eye width can fit in there. Half of her eye, all right? fits probably between the two eyes, right? So we're not in proportion here now at all. This is crazy big. And then out around again. And color it in black. Like so, and a couple of eyelashes just on the corner here. Like that, and then eyelashes on the bottom, and then big oval iris. So, and then pupil oval as well. And then a shine or a highlight just in there. So her nose, very easy, right in between the lines for her eyelashes here. You just do a kind of a curved line just like that. Her mouth is, she's real nervous looking. So her mouth is like, it's kind of downturned with like a, pointy lip or something that's it's hard to describe but so like just underneath the inside of her eye here's where you start you go up down back up the other side and then back down again like that so she looks kind of I don't know it just looks a little bit nervous or something timid like that 
So she's really young, so she doesn't like she doesn't really have a chin. She's just got this like U shape that comes the whole way, right? So it's just like it's pretty straight sort of line there for where her chin is. And we're not really in proportion, so there's no like distances. I would say maybe if we were to give it a proportion, top eyelid to bottom eyelid is about the same as bottom eyelid to chin. So like this line is about halfway between here and here. Okay, so this halfway here to here is the same as here to here, right? So once you get that, we'll try to do that U shape. So it's real curved, there U that just goes the whole way around. She just has a round face. Okay, and then it goes round up the other side. We'll just attempt. So it's tricky enough to do, it's kind of easier sometimes when there's like a jawbone or something different that we can change direction. When you've got like a smooth shape like this, it can be tricky enough. That's what you're kind of going for. Small neck, just here. And then a V for her t-shirt or her collar of her shirt, just there. And then we'll add just a shadow under here. Some hatching coming down there. Okay, so we can see sort of an eyelid line here, an eyelid line here, and then eyebrows, just downturned kind of eyebrows. Line coming down that way. And then we give ourselves somewhere to color, just doing a double line. And the ends of eyebrows are usually thinner than the middle. that and then so her horn just on top of her head so just here on the left hand side it's kind of round it's not like sharp or anything just a round point just there and then she has some texture lines on it like so and then her hairline comes right across from there so like we got this V sort of in the middle of her head that's where we're aiming so here to here is about the same as here to here. So mouth to top of eye, same as top of eye to top of her forehead. So that's another sort of measurement you could use. And once you get that, we add some spiking fringe hairlines just there. Coming across the top of her head. And then her fringe comes out, down, past her eye, oh, real long, off the bottom of my page, right, she's real long hair, and then the next one will come out and go behind her horn, just here, and come out the other side, and down. Kind of flicks out here this way like so so then we have some kind of hairlines just in here like so so then top of her head is I would say here Right, and this is going to come down real long 
again. Like that. And then the other side. Like so. And then we got like hairlines and texture lines inside, right? So we got like some hairline. Here around the front. Texture line, another one there, another one there. And then we have a line that goes up around towards the middle of her head. To there. Wanna be some more. There's like a part in the middle of her head here. Like that. This comes down. To there. And a couple more lines like for texture just coming down her head. So I'm just adding sort of lines, straight lines like this. So, um, okay, so t shirt or collar sort of line like that comes out the other side, comes down to the point at the front of her collar, just comes up over to there, down to there. Some lines in here, and then she has like a floral sort of edge, or just like a, a lace kind of edge to it. And um, and then she's wearing a strap on her over her her body, so she's got like just a bump there. And then this strap comes down across her chest. It's like holding, carrying a bag or something. And then her shoulder comes down this way. Shoulder will go down this way. Kind of has have a slight bump for another strap. It's part of her clothing. But then her shoulder continues that way and that way. And so those straps are buttoned on with these big circles so they're like dungarees why are dungarees called dungarees that's a question <laughs> it's a weird name okay there's one strap and then this strap on that side and then we'll join them together across the front like so and then out and down out and down boop there and then buttons down the middle like so and some texture lines inside ear here, but I said ear because ear, <laughs> earlobe is inside here. <laughs> um, another earlobe there and there. And then texture lines just for the hair that we can see just inside here. And that, I think, though, is everything. How to draw Eri from My Hero Academia. Hope was helpful, guys. See you in the next one.